India host me FCO Council of Heads of Government Summit 2020 New Diamond. The Panamanian registered oil carrying tanker that went ablaze in the Indian Ocean near the coast of Sri Lanka in September 2020. The ship was carrying 270,000 tons of crude oil. Named the second museum after Hagia Sophia which has been converted into a mosque by Turkey Kora Museum Africa continent set free from polio endemic disease by who current Secretary General of SAARC Yesila Ruin We reckon belongs to Sri Lankan Jack Hussain Zaidi has been elected Speaker of GB Assembly he belongs to Pakistan Tiri Ilayan Zak PDI was elected Speaker of the Gilgit Baltistan Legislative Assembly and Nadir Ahmed of the same party Deputy Speaker through secret voting on November 26, 2020. Prominent lawyer Neem Bukhari has been made chairman of Pakistan Television PTV who led the legal team of Pakistan Tiri Ian Zakt PDI Chief Imran Khan in the Panama Papers leak case. Will head the state-run Pakistan Television PTV as its chairman. The federal government on November 23, 2020 announced closure of educational institutions from November 26, 2020 to January 10, 2021 postponing the exams scheduled during this period. The decision was taken at an online conference of provincial and federal education ministers, headed the Ishafkat Mahmood. Recently who has written a book, Let Us Dream, The Path to a Better Future Pope Francis which nation has built a surface-to-air missile near the lake which is a heart of Kailash Mansarovar China which world leaders official website's Twitter account was hacked on September 3, 2020 Narendra Modi. Who is the current Prime Minister of Lab Anand Mustafa Adit Drive Kutumal Gion is the current Special Assistant to Chief Minister Sindh on Bureau of Supply and Prices. Former Federal Minister Anwar Azizhoudhry passed away at his residence in Lahore on November 22, 2020 after a sudden illness. Prime Minister Imran Khan on November 1, 2020 announced the provisional provincial status for Gilgit Baltistan. The population of Gilgit Baltistan is around 1.2 million. GB shares border with Afghanistan and China. Skurdu is the largest city of GB. Pakistani cricketer Mohammad Babar Azam has recently ranked No.3 in latest ICC ODI batting rankings. Hockey legend Abdul Rashid Jr. passed away on November 4, 2020. The former Olympian regarded as one of the finest centre forwards the country ever produced was a gifted spearhead who held many records in the days when Pakistan were a real force in hockey at the international level. Federal Minister of IT and Telecommunications Syed Amanul Haq Using Zong for G made a 5G video call to Beijing and enjoy the best quality of video and audio which is a unique feature of 5G. The inauguration ceremony of experimental 5G video call was held at Zong headquarters Islamabad. Iran on November 11, 2020 announced the opening of a border crossing point with Pakistan for facilitating trade. The announcement was made by Iranian Foreign Minister Drive Javed Zarif during his meetings in Islamabad. He was on a two-day visit to Pakistan. The Punjab government has plans to operate green electric buses to reduce environmental pollution and to deal with the problem of smog in the province. These buses will ply on 103 kilometers long six routes in Lahore while the service will also be introduced in other cities through a public-private partnership. Noted author
intellectual and PPP leader Syed Haidar Abbas Gardazi died after brief illness on November 7, 2020. He was the son-in-law of noted political leader Syed Kaiswar Gardazi and brother-in-law of Syed Muzaffar Hussain Gardazi. Syed and Abbas Gardazi. Dr. Arli Rasa Gardazi. And Mango Growers Association MGA Multan President Syed Zahid Hussain Gardazi. The first grave accent robot operated grave accent COVID-19 testing laboratory has been opened in Islamabad to increase domestic testing capacity for the deadly disease. The laboratory can process over 2,000 tests per day commissioning ceremony of Pakistan Navy ship TABUK was held at Black Sea Port of Constanta, Romania. Contract for two corvettes for Pakistan Navy was signed between Ministry of Defense Production Pakistan and M slash SDAMEN, Romania. Peshawar High Court PHC Chief Justice Wakar Ahmed Sev passed away at a private hospital in Islamabad on November 12, 2020 due to COVID-19. He was 59. Chief Justice Sepp was born in the Ismail Khan on March 16, 1961. He did his Bachelor of Laws from Khyber Law College, Peshawar, in 1985 and subsequently his Master's in Political Science from University of Peshawar in 1986. According to a recent statement, Khyber Pak Tung Kwa Chief Minister Mahmud Khan is the richest MPA in Pakistan who happens to be the only declared billionaire in the province. Grave Accent S Legislature is also the wealthiest MPA in the country, with the worth of his total assets coming to Rs. 2.38 billion. Prime Minister Imran Khan appointed Malik Mohammad Amir Dogar. As special assistant to the Prime Minister SAPM on political affairs on November 13, 2020, Cabinet Grave Accent S members has risen to 50 to 27 federal ministers, 3 ministers of state, 17 SAPM and 5 advisors. Yunus Khan has recently been confirmed as Pakistan batting coach for two years. Yunus Khan is the only Pakistan batsman in Test Cricket Grave Accent Test 10 Run Club and accompanied the side on their tour of England this summer. Prominent constitutional lawyer and activist Hein Jelani was elected as the Chairperson of the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan HRCP for the next three years in an election concluded here on November 8, 2020. Karachi based Asad Iqbal but was elected as the co chairperson, whereas veteran journalist and rights defender Hussain Nuki will be working as the HRCP grave accent test treasurer in the new term. Cameron Arif Khyber Pak Tung Kwa Raja and Shraf Punjab Habib to Herb Halukistan and KZ Isar Sin were elected as the HRCP vice presidents. Kurdim Hussain Rijavi breathed his last on November 19, 2020 evening. He was 54. Some blamed it on COVID-19 while others held heart failure responsible for the death. However, Neither family nor his party officially shared the cause of his death. England cricketers will tour Pakistan in 2021 for the first time since a deadly 2009 attack on the Sri Lankan team bus. The English and Wales Cricket Board ECB announced on November 18, 2020. England will play to 2020 internationals in Karachi on October 14 and 15. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that the country is facing great pressure from the United States to recognize Israel. 
the Prime Minister was quoted as making these remarks by the Middle East IME website, a portal with a focus on the region in a report carried on November 16, 2020. Justice Justice Kiyaz Rashid Khan was sworn in as the acting Chief Justice of the Peshawar High Court. At the Governor Grave Accent S House on November 16, 2020, Governor Shah Tharman administered the oath to him. The Chief Justice Grave Accent S Post fell vacant on November 12 after the incumbent, Justice Walker Ahmed said, died of naval coronavirus. Noted film director Iqbal Kashmiri passed away on November 15, 2020 after a protracted illness. He was 78. He had been hospitalized for the last 10 days or so due to lungs problem which got complicated. Imran Khan paid on November 18, 2020 his maiden visit to Afghanistan for seeking better ties with the northwestern neighbor. Mr. Imran Khan would be visiting Kabul on the invitation of President Ashraf Ghani. The United Arab Emirates UAE has temporarily suspended issuance of new visit visas for Pakistan and 11 other countries. The suspension is not applicable on already issued visas.